after many months of people yelling at me that I need to talk about Nick, Nick Ricardo more, I have finally received a clip that from the Council of Autists that informed me of things that I should talk about that they have deemed worthy of appearing on stream. Finally, it's gone through the right channels. It's been talked about, and it has arrived at my desk. Actually, um, shit. You know what? Let me make every, let me let me let me make sure everything is fine. I gotta gotta stamp that. Oh, let me sign this real quick. And let me set this aside real quick. Okay. Wait one second. I'm almost done. Almost done. Just have to have to get everything done. Let me make sure this is real. Actually, real quick. Very pleasant. There we go. That's the ring you want to hear. All right. Now we can talk about Nick. I've never seen this clip. Um, I've preloaded it to the best of my ability. I've not actually watched it. So this will be a six minutes long. Better be fucking good. That's what I gotta say. Better be good. Like there are a bunch of people who think about him all the time, though. What's that? There are people who fantasize about like the 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 circumstances under which I would have to ask a question. Mm. There's there's uh there's like this whole fantasy where I'm going to get divorced like in the next year. What? Oh yeah. It's like uh it's like a running thing. People are jerking off to the fact that I might be divorced at some point. <laughs> These Drex. people must be miserable. Drex, are you are, are you, you fucking serious? kidding me? Yeah. It's like no, uh. no, nah, nah, it'll be done. Like 18 years. It's like, dude, you have no idea. So what do you think it is? Besides these people are just fucking like just lames. Uh so I I have this theory, and I was telling you about this earlier. I wrote an essay years ago, and it's um people are allergic to having someone that they can uh, look up to in any way. Mm -hmm. So they must, they're on a fucking blood quest to find the negative in a person. And if they can't find the negative, they will manufacture it mm -hmm. because they, they, you, we cannot have, and this isn't their fault, right? Media has done this. Media has done this. They will tear down every person who succeeds at an alarming rate. We uh, the the example I brought up to you was Tiger Woods. Yep. Tiger Woods engaged in infidelity. Yep. Tiger Woods, which is unacceptable, is the exact type of person who would engage in infidelity because he's black. And uh, several other people on par with Tiger Woods have done that. No big deal. Like it's, it's no, it's it's still unacceptable. What do you mean no big deal? To uh, by whose metric? Uh, I mean, people talk about that shit because it is a big deal. It, it, like, it ultimately belies what, what kind of character you have where you can't even be trusted with your own wife and your own relationship. It's like if the, the, the inside is rotten, then what does that refer to, you know, other aspects of your life? That's why people judge you off that. Just whatever. Like, uh, I think you mentioned, like, Michael Jordan. You got Shaq. You got Charles black, Barkley, I think. Black. Black. Black, black. You got tons of people. Name a single white person <laughs> in uh in these communities. They've they've look. They hit a bunch of money. They're in, they enjoy the culture of women or whatever, and they do that. So now, uh, but Tiger Woods has he has a different personality than these guys. So his transgression becomes bad, and people pounce on it, and they pound him and pound him and pound him and break him down. The other people, they weren't able to the, to break them down because they didn't give a fuck. See, they I, I I was a child in the 90s, and I know that all these affairs that he's referring to happened in, like, the early 2000s and late 90s, and I, I don't know... I don't know enough about their the media coverage of them because I never cared about celebrity shit when I was a kid or a teenager. So I, I don't know enough about this, this avant-garde boomer reference um, to celebrity relationships to make a, a comment. There is this need to break down oh, a shit. hero. 
no matter what size yeah, well, they you are. Look at him. He's an Ivy League grad, right? Graduated from Stanford. Oh, shit. Oh, biggest shit. athlete in the world at that time, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, he's winning, winning, chasing Jack's record, all that stuff. And then so, like, when the shit came out, yeah, they, like, they really went after Tiger. Like, it wasn't um, like he yeeted somebody. He didn't, you know, he wasn't doing stuff with kids. Like, 230. I have, oh, is the site dead? Oh, my VPN's dead. That's why. Okay. Um, I think I have this saved, actually, just in case. Is this it? Let me make sure that this is it actually. And the new tab. I'm like, there are a bunch of people who think about him all the time, though. Two eighteen six D. That is correct. I'm like, oh, there. And then two twenty eight. Sorry about that. He didn't. You know, he wasn't doing stuff with kids. Like the stuff that that, that should like you know, it was like Penn State level, right? Yeah. In terms of media uh, persecution, I would say that the media went after Tiger Hard and they went after Penn State. Of course they did. Like, of course they did. And you got to remember, like what Tiger did. Tiger Woods brought uh, he brought black into golf. He brought black kids into golf. He uh, he changed the entire golf culture. He brought new fans. He broke down the gates of Augusta uh, for the Masters. He did all sorts of shit that the media was would be fine with 10 years later mm -hmm. they weren't ready for it when he did it and really? so he be what in what year he even i know who the fuck that what 2013 was when this happened like they weren't ready for a a, a black man playing golf in 2013 so they had to they had to capitalize on his his actual infidelity is that the argument that's a ridiculous argument became this icon they had to go after him and and i'm it wasn't I'm like not the, the 60s tiger woods i don't like not not in any way but the the fact remains that people have an incessant need for someone who achieves something to be like them, to have some pain, to have some brokenness, to have something in their life. But he was cheating. I, I don't I don't understand the logic. Like they weren't lying about him to try and bring him down. It it happened. And so uh for me, I guess that's my marriage has to end. Yep. According to this weird contingent of people. Like I would I can't crazy. even imagine that, that's like a really bizarre non sequitur. I don't see how that, that logic ties up at all. Like it, it, he's like, t so Nick, Nick Rikade is Tiger Woods and he, and he broke down. So the, the media, the Kiwi farms is not ready for a Polish man to have a lot of viewers on rumble talking about the law and Johnny Depp. And so therefore the Kiwi Farms, much like how the media was with Tiger Woods, is capitalizing on an affair, which he says uh, he's not like if there's an affair going on, it's unknown to the world at this point in time. Simply speculated on. Whereas the Tiger Woods affair was very real, and the, the media in the Kiwi Farms are therefore trying to uh, keep a nigga down, as they say, in the hood, and prevent him from achieving the success that he would be if he didn't have that affair, which the media and the Kiwi farms capitalize on. Is that the logic? Cause that does not line up to me. It is. That seems like a very false equivalent. Fucking, um, rooting for someone to lose. I I'm the kind of guy who goes like this. If, if I see someone make a terrible life choice, right? Like marrying Riley Reed, I'm like, bro, oh, shit. Bruh. was that? No, no. I was saying to you, Oh shit. Yeah, like, like, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like he's saying you aren't rooting for them to lose. You're kind of like you're likely gonna lose based on all these factors, right? Like, why would you want to ruin your life like that? But uh, the, yeah, the, the idea is that not is that not what the forum is doing? Saying we think we are deeply concerned about X, Y, Z. We believe that these behaviors are unacceptable and are unbecoming of you, and what we would like to see out of you. And we believe that these factors will contribute to a negative repercussions in your life, a, a down, a, a decline. Is that not what's being said? I don't understand how 
the forum is inflicting itself on him at yeah, all. Yeah, I'm gonna actively like these people are active. They, they're like like creating narratives, and you're like, I, I started seeing your name involved in stuff. I'm like, what are these people talking about? Your name, my name, other people's names. I'm like, where are you guys getting this from? Like, it was so far removed from truth, and I was like, oh, I get it. You heard a couple of things piece together a fucking crazy narrative in your mind to be like this guy's a piece of shit yeah okay sure it's, and, and it's, that's why they, they remain anonymous because if, if you knew who these people were right if if joe blow 69 who talks shit about you all day right if if we knew who joe blow 69 was someone now he could be held accountable right like oh this is who you are this this is your your uh, uh search history <laughs> uh, 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 they would malfunction they're always projecting that that logic is like that's black people logic like shit man if if you and i took it, our dicks together and we put them side by side and we see whose dick is the biggest then we know what's up and it's like oh, person a can look at person b and tell person b that you have done something wrong and be correct about it and then to look at back at person a and say actually motherfucker big snood you also done did something wrong shit man like does that that doesn't invalidate it <laughs> that's still the person a and person b can be correct at the same time there's not like they the bullets don't hit each other midair matrix style and drop to the fucking ground they're both correct what they do onto you fuck these fucking people it's it's fucking it's it's so wild to me because it's like i i just sit there and i'm like i mean i guess i get like i you what do you say like you can't say anything but it's like oh, okay I, yeah. I i guess that's the the next step but it's weird and and it's it's a strange fucking fantasy for people to have but it's um it's wild to see that shit uh, but Wait, no, what is the question you said Lead was going to ask? Lead was going to ask. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait. It's, we've been we've been going three hours. Let me start hitting these chats, which I've been neglecting very much. Th guys, by the way, that's <laughs> almost a cyber bully. No, I, I don't I don't believe in that. Like, I never look to, you know, ban people or anything. I just don't like the idea that someone's going to put something out there that's blatantly false. You see what I'm saying? Like, All the fucking time. Whether it's groomer, whether it's this, whether you're kind of looking at someone like, bro, you're putting some pretty serious allegations out there. Like, and, and, and their version of proof is always some like weird, disparate things that you see. It looks in. like one of those fucking boards with like threads attached. Yeah, to yeah and they're, and they're like, like, you said this, and then there was, and then they like, they, they, they like just kind of mold it all together. You're like, and that's what you got out of that? Like, yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. All it's right. Like, I, dude, I was I was telling a story that I thought would be funny. And like, what you did with that was not what that's happened. That's not what, yeah, I don't but, know, man. Drexel, Drexel's referring to, I can't remember the exact thing, so I won't try to re repeat it. But he's referring to something that he said about, oh, about, man, I wish I could remember it. Because I could, I could uh, put him on blast for it. But it was like, he was friends with a woman. And then she, he ended up hooking up with her daughter, who like just turned of age. Um, and like he knew her before she was an adult. And they went to like Disneyland and shit together. And he ended up hooking up with the, with her daughter. And he's like, "Whoa, man, you can't be saying that's grooming and shit, man. Because I ain't sleep with her till she turned of age, you dig?" I was like, "Well, that's literally what grooming is, homie." G, thug shaker. That's that is precisely literally the definition. I was like, nah, man, shit, you got, you got it all twisted and shit, man. And then I guess, but I mean, with Ricada, the whole affair thing, it's just like speculation. It's a, that is like a meme with some supporting, contributing evidence that sways people to believe a specific way that could have been avoided, um, which has always been my criticism. Why, why make it public? Oh, look, you can do it one of two ways. You can either put... All your pu your private shit public, 
and show off to people, woo, you know, I'm making the money. I got all these thousands of people and locals giving me dollar bills and I'm making all the money and I'm doing so well financially and I'm buying cars and shit because it's like, you know, I can do whatever the fuck I want. I made it. I'm getting the, the big dollar bills. And I'm going, we're going swinging. And it was her idea. I got a wife that loves to have me with other women. And my life is the best life that it could ever possibly be. Like, you can do that. Sure, go for it. I don't care. But you then can't turn around and say, man, people are getting really the wrong idea about me. They're taking all these these facts that I put out there and they're they're putting them together in a way that's really not too flattering about me and it's it's super wrong of them to even speculate it's like with Ty, i'm like tiger woods i'm like tiger woods because people are, are getting it twisted and every time i you know i say anything i am told that i'm i simply do not have the context but when i when i watch the videos and i hear the arguments and nobody prepped me for this. They just gave me a video and said, watch this and respond to it. It'll be interesting. I'm like, okay. But I listened to it and I'm just thinking like, you're, you're, you're trying to have it both ways. You can either be a public figure and make your sex life and your, your private life like a part of your, your East Sub character, or you can complain that people are talking about it <laughs> and and not you know when when people talk about things they're not just gonna like take your story and say like it's all fun and games and everything's going well it's just not how people are it doesn't mean that i don't know i don't think there, there's necessarily an envy thing but by the way uh if you're gonna tell people how fabulously wealthy you are and how many how many how much money you're making to try and provoke an envious response from them you also then are not entitled to say people are just jealous of me like if you're trying to deliberately provoke people that way then how can you be upset rationally if that is the response that you get uh, i just i just don't i don't under, i don't understand the logic of inviting trouble and then being upset by the trouble and then when you people point that out to you it's then said, well, I'm not upset. Like, I don't know. I just watched you and a black man compare yourselves to Tiger Woods for six minutes. And it, it does seem a little bit irritated in a way that someone who is actually not irritated would not be talking about things. Just as a thought. Um, this is another video. This is with just Drexel. It's two minutes long. There is no Nickricada, but apparently it's a funny story that I should listen to. Drex, now that we're, yes. now that we're here... Just us guys and damn <laughs> And, and, and Natalie. Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the, isn't it true Honorary. That when Nick <laughs> gets drunk, he gets gay? I haven't heard that. What? Um, oh, man. He was getting so gay with me in Vegas. It was unbelievable. Uh -oh. oh, uh Not this uh -oh. Nick. The other Nick. Okay. Let's get this clear. Yeah, oh, not, yeah. He's not, Nick. Not the other Nick. Nick. I'm uh, talking Swedish Nick, uh, <laughs> Nick. Yeah, I haven't seen. Here's the thing, though. Like when the only time that Nick is ever drinking when I'm around him, it's on a stream, right? Because otherwise, you know, we're we're sitting there playing with all these damn kids and keeping them occupied. But I'm telling you, man, look, it is very well known. I think Dave Chappelle had a bit about this in one of his stand-ups where he said, like, you know, you can't drink around white dudes. He goes, it always That's turns into pseudo gay shit, and I'm like, <laughs> and, and there's the if you ask a lot of white dudes back this it, it, Drex, my boy, Dave Chappelle is one of the most famous celebrities of all time. And he was like a pet black to the Hollywood elite and the Hollywood elite will fuck anything. And they do fuck everything. It's not a white people thing. It's a white people thing. You dig homie. And, and they're going to be honest like this. Yo, white guys. On behalf of white America or white, you know, the world, do in general, do white dudes start doing weirdo gay shit when they you drink? Know, I, and most dudes are like, it's, it's, yeah. it's true. Yeah. You can't, you can't go to sleep? You, you, or, like, it, or like you wake up with a missing one of your eyebrows. My friends do that. Yeah, thing. Like or, fell asleep, drunk, you know, shave putting like balls, balls on your face just, just and the one, though. pictures. So it's like, unbalanced. Why, why is like, that a thing? Come on, guys. It's always some weird gay shit. Very, very dangerous in Sweden. Tracks. You 
<laughs> it's true, man. I don't, I don't go to sleep right. around about white dudes drinking because I'm like, I already know it's going to be some gay shit. It's, it, I don't know what it is. I don't know, man. I, I apologize on behalf of all white people. It, it's some I weird apologize. stuff, man. I'm just telling you that I when love, we were in Vegas. I, here's, I'm with the woman. I, my face, her face. We are we are aligned. There's some synchronicity between us. And and these and the guys around me were drunk as shit. <clears throat> the gay stuff started coming out. Uh -oh, man, I don't know what was up with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I won't. At the risk of speculating and sounding like a proper Hollywood journalist trying to bring a Tiger Woods down, kick. Kicked the homie off the, the golf course, as it would be. Um, I will simply reply by saying that I am very glad I have never met any of these people in real life. There was almost a time, there was multiple times where Coach Red Pill and I almost met up in Ukraine. And then I literally bought plane tickets to fly from Ukraine to LAX to meet Dick Masterson for one of the, um, the Dick Show tours. I own, I literally had the plane tickets ready to go and then COVID happened. Between the time that I bought the ticket and when I was supposed to arrive, COVID happened and shut down all international flights. And I am forced to assume that in the alternate timeline where COVID does not happen, me taking that flight and going to LAX and meeting Dick Masterson in person had to have created a human tragedy and economic catastrophe on par because you know a law of conservation of energy and such that had to have been equally as disastrous as the entirety of COVID-19 by the laws of physics that alternate timeline must have happened that way so I don't know what happened. I'm just very glad I've never met any other Isolev. There was I literally Coach Red Pill and I were going to take a, a train from Odessa to Kiev to Kharkiv, um, up to Moscow, all the way across the Siberian Rail to Vladivostok, and then down to Beijing. That was planned, and we were going to have cameras and shit, and we were going to record it, and it just never happened. It never materialized, and we were also going to go to. Uh, Berlin. We were going to fly to Berlin and because uh, YouTube has these YouTube studios that you can rent and they have very high quality production equipment. So if you're like a YouTube creator and you need what's called a YouTube space, if you have more than 20,000 or 100,000, I think it was 20,000, you can rent a YouTube space and do a... Um, uh, and do like a production there as long as you like file ahead of time. And the closest one to us was in Berlin. So we were going to fly to Berlin and do a YouTube video there. Uh, and that never happened. And I'm, I'm just so, I'm so thankful. I don't, I have never met any of these people. And I probably never will. I probably will never meet any of these people. Um, I may meet Jim before he dies. Um, so that I can, I can facilitate <laughs> growing him into potatoes. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to have to email Jim because someone told me that if uh, the Kiwi Farms was defederated from post, you would have to find another instance. So I don't, I have to, um, I have to figure out what, uh, if he actually wants like an instance or something. I can maybe set something up where he can have his own like Medicare domain and not have to be tied to anybody else's shit. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.